Hey, hey, gang, as we segue into a fresh season of educating our audience around the power of LinkedIn for lead generation, it is my pleasure to bring to you some episodes around the power of LinkedIn today and why small business owners should be resorting to this platform, number one, for organic lead generation, where they are seen amongst the masses in competition because they aren't competing on saturated platforms. I hope you guys really enjoy these next couple of episodes where we're really leaning in and getting you guys excited for the use of the LinkedIn platform to 10x your lead generation with ease. Need some effective tactical advice that actually helps you get results and makes a real difference in your life and business? You've come to the right place. If you're finding yourself here today, it means you're getting ready to gain serious traction in your business, rapidly multiply your income and impact, and you're ready to make it happen while living all out. Guys, I'm Melissa Henault, your trustworthy corporate dropout turned six-figure business burnout turned happy and healthy CEO of a multi-million dollar online business. And you're listening to the Burnout to All Out podcast. On this show, we're serving up innovative growth strategies, simple implementation methods to put them into practice, and action-stimulating inspiration tailored specifically for the modern entrepreneur. Let's dive in. We're going to dive into some incredible content that's going to make you think differently. It's going to disrupt your thinking, and it's going to engage you in a way that's going to make you want to continue to come back for more and take radical action. You've gone to LinkedIn and you were like, whoa, this looks totally different than the other platforms. I feel like I have two left thumbs. I don't know how to operate this platform. Okay, I want to cast hope for you guys. That night, I decided... I'm going against the grain. There is an entire social media platform that I have completely overlooked that no one is using, and I'm going to go for it because it's a platform of professionals, and you guys are going to be taking furious notes about it here in just a second. But I leaned in, and I decided I'm going to recruit 100% on LinkedIn for 365 days. I'm gonna give it my all. I'm gonna take every course and module I can because I don't know how to use it and I am going to go for it, right? I realized that I was one of those people who'd left corporate America and was in social selling but didn't like the way I was being coached to do it and I realized there's gotta be other professionals who want what I have I just haven't been speaking to them in a language that they understand. And I was on the wrong platform, right? I was on the wrong platform, okay? So I made the pivot and I realized that the women specifically and men that I was looking for who wanted a new business opportunity, wanted a financial opportunity to build out an asset for life, they weren't scrolling and patrolling on Instagram and Facebook. They were actually busier scrolling through LinkedIn looking for the next J-O-B that was going to give them flexibility, give them more money, give them a more ideal career. These people are motivated, but they've been completely overlooked by the Instagram and Facebook community, right? So I decided that I needed to own this industry and stand in my posture and be of unwavering truth over on that platform and see what I could do. I went to work. I pivoted and started 100% exclusively recruiting for the business on LinkedIn, okay? Whether you're looking for business partners in social selling or you're looking for clients, As a coach, this method of attraction marketing works, okay? When you're dialed into the right audience, and that audience is what we're going to talk about, how the audience on LinkedIn is different than it is on Instagram and Facebook, right? So I locked in on this new platform to recruit, and I began to get into it, engaging in conversations with people who wanted another income stream going directly to the conversation. No bait and switch. I want you guys to imagine. No bait and switch. Just going straight 
to good old fashioned conversations about business. Yeah. People who wanted more out of life. People who wanted to grow professionally. People who wanted to grow personally. I got to cut straight to the chase. Talk about business. Guess what happened? I condensed time. I was no longer bait and switching, hoping for people to catch the vision. I was starting with the vision. I began to build a business that stuck. What do I mean by stuck? The leaders I was bringing in stayed. They didn't just stay. They started recruiting. They started recruiting. And it wasn't just me in business by myself recruiting customers anymore. They became high energy. They were coachable. They were leaders because I was on the right platform, talking the right language to people who wanted what I had to offer. And guess where the magic started to happen? Believe it or not, I've recruited significantly less people, okay? Don't let that disappoint you because my paycheck has done nothing but go up. Why is that? Does anyone want to know? It's because I'm recruiting efficiently, okay? So instead of finding 100 product users, I may find 10 builders in six months. And those 10 builders are focused on the business. So they find 10 builders, right? Now you have 100 people in your organization. Now everybody goes and finds 10 product users. Do the math on that. Now I have a thousand people in my organization and I started with 10 builders that I found on LinkedIn, not finding a thousand product users by myself. Six years in a row recognized as a top income earner with my previous network marketing company, right? It was about recruiting less, but the right people with the right strategy. And then all of a sudden I was looking forward to my days of recruiting. I know my students, can't wait to wake up in the mornings and look at their DMs and see who's interested, who followed up, who's open to a business opportunity. It's so exciting. And what happens is you love your conversations and your energy goes up and you're recruiting and you're making money, right? You're making money. Okay. Some people say, well, Melissa, if this works for your team, why are you offering it to the public, right? I used to get such pushback from my previous upline because they didn't want me to share these secrets with the rest of the world. But I truly believe because this industry changed my life, I believe it shouldn't be held to just one or two or three network marketing companies or social selling businesses, but that rising tides can raise all ships. And as a collective, if we can come into LinkedIn, lock arms, and own this industry like the professionals that we are, we can truly change waves of people's lives like it did for me with the freedom lifestyle I have today. There are so many burnout professionals just like me who are crying, crying for a solution right now. We have it. We have it. Here's the thing. Guys, There's 600 million people on the platform, right? There's plenty of opportunity. By the way, really quickly, let me tell you guys, don't get so excited with LinkedIn today that you go connect with everyone that you know in your social selling business. I want to go ahead and give you that forewarning. I want you to stay in your swim lane because what's going to happen is you can be friends with those people over on Facebook and Instagram. How many of you, your Facebook and Instagram feeds are full of people in your social selling business? Hmm? How many... Nobody, you do not want that on LinkedIn, right? We get into the depths of why and the algorithms and all those things inside the academy. But the bottom line is you don't want your feet full of people who are in the same business as you. You want to keep your swim lane separate. So stop if you're in the middle of trying to connect with people in your team on your business. Stop, stop, stop. Don't do it. Don't do it. Send them a kind note and tell them you'll stay friends over on Facebook and Instagram. Okay. I want you guys to breathe in possibility and breathe out doubt because your whole life can change when you apply these principles. Where you are today, my friend, is not a fixed state. I am an example of that. Coming out of the Instagram, Facebook slump where I felt like I was in a plateau, I felt like I was in a fixed state, you are not 
in a fixed state. You are about to fall in love with your business all over again and find hungry individuals who want what you have to offer. The bait and switch, it's over. It's over. I was at a place of complete desperation, right? When I got out of the Instagram, Facebook game, I got out of the post and pray because it wasn't serving my soul anymore. It wasn't serving my soul anymore, okay? When you are three feet from gold and you feel like giving up, you didn't. All you need is passion, drive, and legitimately a phone, like a phone or a computer, right? To impact the globe and generations to come. Now, I have six things written here of why LinkedIn is radically different. And before we get into the six that I have there, I'm going to give you number seven. Okay, because number seven isn't in my notes, but I'm realizing how ridiculously important it is. Unlike the other social media platforms, LinkedIn is actually, get this, a search engine. It's a search engine. Okay, you can actually search in key ways that actually can be found on Google and other websites, right? But it is a complex search engine. The bottom line is it's the only platform that's actually designed to search by demographic, by location, by profession, by keywords, right? And be able to search in order and combination to be strategic and building an ideal network. I haven't really talked about that before, but it's uber critical. We talk about it inside the academy that your content will fall on deaf ears if you don't have the right network in your network, right? The beauty of LinkedIn is that it has a search engine that's brilliant, that if you work it in the right way, you manifest the right people into your feed. Can you imagine? Ah, it gets me so excited. Okay. Reason number one, since I did number seven first, age. What is the ideal age of your ideal client or business partner? If you had to guess your ideal age, the average age of Instagram and Facebook is 21 years old. Yep, it's 21 years old, okay? The average age on LinkedIn, average age on LinkedIn is 35 years old, 35, average. Why is this important? Because you need to know your target audience. We're going to get into mindset and all those things in just a minute. But you need to know your target audience. For me and social selling, my ideal business partner was someone who lived enough life to want something more. That's not to discredit the early 20-somethings. But I know in my early 20-somethings, I still thought I can rule the world and become president of a pharma company, which, by the way, I could have. But instead, I became president of my own company. Right. My point is, know who your target audience is and where they hang out. Okay, so for me, LinkedIn has a niche age group average being 35, an older, a slightly older demographic hanging out over there. Number two, income. The average income on Instagram and Facebook is around $23,000 average, okay? Now, average income on LinkedIn is $100,000 a year. Now, here's the thing. For some network marketers and social sellers, that intimidates them because they think, oh, they don't need this. And I have to tell you, you couldn't be further from the truth because Actually, the stakes are even higher when you make more money. And if you want out, you better have a plan, right? And people who make that much money have shown up in life and held themselves accountable to get there. Aren't those the type of people you want on your team? Also, people who make money like money. And the average millionaire has seven streams of income. I know I have multiple streams and I'm looking to invest and always looking for more. People who operate franchises and are looking for uh, angel investors, they're crushing it on LinkedIn. People in cryptocurrency, crushing it on LinkedIn. Why? 
because they know their demographic. These people are educated and looking for ways to make more money. So don't let someone's success discredit you wanting to approach them. Now, those of you in here watching that are already business coaches or life coaches, mindset coaches, you're drooling right now, aren't you? Yeah, because these people have discretionary funds to invest. And they're on this platform frequently. If they're on this platform more frequently than the others, they are heavily invested in their personal and professional development. It's the number one reason people hang out on LinkedIn. So they're making money and they're invested in their development. And at the end of the day, at a minimum, they have discretionary funds to invest in your product, whatever it is, the discretionary funds to invest in your business, whatever it is. But it's all in how it's presented and packaged. Number three, gender, gender. Okay, so... What do you think is the split on men versus women on LinkedIn? I'll just go ahead and give it away to you guys. It's actually the only platform where there's 1% more men than women. On the other platforms, it's 51 towards women for Facebook and Instagram and 49 for men. On LinkedIn, it's 51 men, 49 women. Okay, so... Number four is mindset, mindset. So this is important. Why do you go to Instagram and Facebook? Put your business aside, treat yourself. I want you to assess yourself as just a user of the platform. Why do you go to Instagram and Facebook? What do you go there for? You go there for entertainment, right? To catch up with friends. You go there to scroll and kind of zone out. When you've got two minutes to burn, you're scrolling through, right? Time away from work, zoning out. I want to know, what have you historically used LinkedIn for? I know for me, before studying how to use it to market my business, I dusted off my resume over there. Yes, I went to look for a job, right? Or... If you're in professional and corporate, you're always networking to grow your network because you never know where the next opportunity might happen. What are people looking for on LinkedIn? Career changes, jobs, networking, opportunity. Guys, think about that mindset. I have seen it literally happen with my clients. The light bulb goes off. They will send messages to the same person on Instagram and Facebook. I had a client this happened to last Last month, she couldn't believe it. Someone that she used to work with in the art industry up in New York, she had messaged her personally on Facebook. She messaged her personally on Instagram. She had made multiple posts about the product, multiple posts about the business, and her friend completely ignored her. She started in our academy. She did a full-on overhaul of her profile. And she started using our scripts and guess what happened? She got a message from her friend. Her friend reached out to her on LinkedIn and said, oh my gosh, I didn't realize you were starting a business. You guys get it? It is posture, platform, mentality, and mindset of the user. That chick was on Instagram and Facebook. She just wasn't taking her friends seriously on those platforms because she wasn't there to be serious. But when she saw her owning it on LinkedIn and changed her profile, and instead of being spammy and product focused, she stepped into her power as the entrepreneur and the business owner that she was with polish, with swagger. She created attraction marketing to her. She wasn't chasing people anymore. They were chasing her, intrigued, mysterious. What is it you're doing? Okay, number five, device used, okay? What do you think is the number one device used on Facebook and Instagram? And it makes sense when we talk about mindset, right? It's the phone. 
Okay, gang, we need to take a quick hydration break. So grab your drink of choice. And as you rehydrate, I'll give you the lowdown on my free LinkedIn lead gen masterclass. If you feel like you're screaming into the void when you post content on Facebook or Instagram, struggling to find a sustainable and scalable lead generation process that sticks, and you just want someone who's been there and done that to reveal their secrets then it's critical that you register to save your spot ASAP. During this live masterclass, you'll get to steal the exact strategy I used to scale my income from $0 to 1 million in just 19 months without spending a fortune on ads or suffering from burnout. Simply check out the show notes of the podcast episode for the link to register for your free spot in the LinkedIn lead gen masterclass. And don't worry, Even if you miss a couple of days or you can't make it to all the training sessions, we'll deliver the replays directly into your inbox daily so you can watch them on your own time. All you have to do is make sure you sign up for the masterclass before registration ends. What do you think is the number one device used on LinkedIn? It is, drum roll, the computer. Why should this blow your mind? This should blow your mind because number one, people's mindset is different, right? We already talked about that. But number two, they're sitting at their work desk. They are working and consciously thinking about something else, looking for something else. They're not as prone to be multitasking, watching Netflix, scrolling in the elevator, peeking in for one quick second and peeking out. They are locked and loaded on their computer. Oddly enough, peak activity on Mondays and Tuesdays on LinkedIn. Why? People are headed back to work and they don't want to be there. They're thinking about what could I do different? Maybe there's a better dream job for me. And this is where we really coach in the academy to how do you take posture and verbiage and attraction marketing And take their curiosity from another job to your offering instead. How do you cast that vision? Create curiosity. Have them lean in and want to learn more, right? Number six, last but not least, is organic reach. Guys, we're experiencing this every day in the sense that Facebook and Instagram are continuing to get more and more complicated with reach, more and more complicated with their algorithms, more and more complicated, right? How many of you guys used Facebook 10 years ago and you saw everything? The organic reach was there. One, your friend would post something. You, you saw other people tag or comment on a post because it showed up in the feed, right? The bottom line is, The algorithms weren't complicated back then. And the viewability and organic reach was really good. Well, I hope you guys are excited to hear that where the algorithms are the least messy right now is LinkedIn. Those who are working this platform today are the ones who will make millions like the social sellers did a decade ago on Facebook. You could take a video and post it on Insta, Facebook, and LinkedIn, same video, and I guarantee you more views on LinkedIn. Guarantee. Now, the caveat is if you have the same amount of network, right? Like if you have zero network on LinkedIn and you go post a video on all the platforms today and you say, oh, Melissa, that that wasn't true. Like we can't compare apples to oranges, right? Like you, you have to have a large enough network for it to matter, right? You've been working hard. It's just been the wrong platform and the wrong message that's super competitive versus being wide open, right? I challenge you guys to Google some of the top people in your industry uh, or go to LinkedIn and search them and see if they even have a LinkedIn profile. And if they do, how active are they? Thanks guys so much for listening in on today's podcast episode. I can't wait for you to see my upcoming guest in the next episode. You are going to love this keynote speaker. Hey, here's the deal. If you liked this, please subscribe and leave a review. And you want the latest online business growth strategies and exclusive LinkedIn pro tips sent straight to your phone? Text the word updates to one 310 
7171. Again, text the word UPDATES to 1-833-310-7171. Can't wait to see you guys. Come find me over on Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, wherever you like to hang. I cannot wait to hear how you are enjoying and applying what you're learning. You guys reach out to me over on social because I love hearing what's resonating with you. When you reach out to me and you send me those personal DMs, they really do impact the content I continue to bring forward to you. So again, come find me, Melissa underscore Hinault over on Instagram, Melissa Hinault over on LinkedIn and Facebook. Can't wait to see you guys over there. Oh my gosh, there is nothing more powerful than hearing the testimonials and strategies that are working for our clients and how they are winning today on lead generation when it comes to LinkedIn and even winning top voice. Cannot wait for you guys to listen in on this testimonial from a client who happens to be a real estate agent and is crushing the LinkedIn platform. So listen in, cannot wait for you guys to hear about it. One of the reasons that I wanted to get into LinkedIn as a realtor is that it's not overcrowded. It is a big blue ocean. There's not a lot of other agents that are interacting. They just post. They have their outside companies that post their content. Nobody likes it. Nobody engages. It just sits there, but they feel like they're doing something. So I was doing that beforehand. I want to say... This program changed my thoughts. Hmm. I came from a very professional environment, much like Melissa in the pharmaceutical world, and I was craving that professionalism that LinkedIn gives you. As a realtor, I joined the program. I did go slow. That's one of the things I will say. The first day on the program, I wanted to go and connect with everybody on this screen and everybody I could think of, but the caution was good. I appreciate that Melissa cautioned us. So I went slow. I connected with people who are my avatar. I wrote a bunch of articles on real estate. And the nice thing is those articles live on Google forever. First article within, it was a few hours. I could type in relocation, Nashville, and I was in the top 15 Make it about you because otherwise there's somebody else out there putting out content very similar to yours. And then the last thing that I did was that I interacted with others deeply and the first 30 minutes of every call, I didn't post, I just interacted. Find people who are like you. I interacted a lot with these large groups and somehow my comments got seen and liked and interacted with, with a lot of people. I do believe that helped Top Voice. Top Voice is great, and I love having it, but what this is going to do for my business long-term is why I joined the Academy 